Russia's economy is hanging by a thread. Putin is obsessively bombing Ukraine and the West is piling sanctions over sanctions. Russia bullying Ukraine and then Putin justifying it by calling President Zelensky a Nazi has stirred up some major red alert in both countries. But Russia is losing the upper hand here, with the globe treating Putin like a lost cause. China has a particular interest in the Ukraine invasion, as if they were to capture Taiwan. What would America do? How severe could it get? I'm sure that they have the answers now, and this seems like they've backed off. Flashback a couple of weeks ago, the Chinese president and the Russian dictator showcased a pretty interesting friendship. Putin was showcasing his bestie status in the Beijing Olympics, while Jinping awkwardly smiled at the camera. This led to a lot of netizens second-guessing that China would be the knight in shining armor saving Russia from the economic crisis. But let's count the odds and gauge a conclusion if China would risk it for the biscuit or remain silent. Well, I won't be spewing politics here while there is a whole nation on the line, and it seems like Russia is hit with a blunt sword. Well, keep in mind that this was before the Russians invaded Ukraine. Now with brutal sanctions, this Sino-Russian friendship is put to test. But the experts speculate that Beijing on this part has very limited options. For the most part, like Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the Chinese leaders also choose to remain neutral. Beijing has not saved Russia from this economic chokeslam, nor imposed any sanctions for the country. Now this is a similar response to how the West didn't intervene in the war. But recently, China's foreign minister, however concerned about the global crisis that might follow, soon spoke with his Ukrainian counterpart and said that China was deeply grieved to see the conflict and that its fundamental position on the Ukraine issue is open, transparent and consistent. The Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, a development bank heavily funded by Beijing, said that they were suspending all its activities in Russia as the war in Ukraine unfolds. The bottom line, China will not be there for Russia. As we said in our previous videos, the Chinese president knew that Russia was going to invade Ukraine and requested them to wait until the Beijing Olympics ended. China might have assured assistance during those times, but now looking at how severe it has become, it might not want to play a part in it. What would happen if China helps Russia? Well, now both of these countries hate the West. Putin had already planned and he had foreseen that an invasion of Ukraine would lead to sanctions on oil exports and so he signed a $117 billion deal with China. China would loan Russia during these economic cries in rubles or the Chinese currency. But as the value of the Russian currency has dropped, a loan would be devastating for China, and since there would be less guarantee, China would be unwilling to loan or stamp a high interest rate on it. Now, if China teams up with Russia, then there's a high chance that they could easily support each other and grow stronger than the other powerful countries. They both have a historical similarity which makes their opportunistic relationship lethal for other countries. China is right now the most powerful country in the world with its competitor recovering from the pandemic. It seems like Putin knows that and is taking steps to world domination. If China is to come together with it, then things could get uglier. But China also depends upon the Western countries for most of their economic needs, and I don't think they want to upset them. On the other hand, if Xi Jinping intervenes and tries to stop the war, then this approach would be a lot friendlier and more effective. While the West trying to get diplomatic has seen to not work as Putin most probably is against the West and counts them as enemies. Most Asian countries for that matter, if China, India, South Korea and Israel meet Putin and discuss the war to put a stop, then it would be a lot more effective than Emmanuel Macron or Joe Biden. Now, if China becomes the mediator, this could improve their relationship with the West. And China actually at this point has to stand against this war to honor their backbone policy of respecting the territorial rights and sovereignty of the Chinese nations. China also has a good diplomatic relationship with Ukraine. China seems to have supported the idea of invasion, pre-invasion, but that's not the case as China seems to be stepping away from the whole situation. However, the Chinese media is blaming the West for the escalation of the invasion, opposing the actions of the West. But things are going south for Russia. It means China has no business with them. Since they're both known for opportunistic relationships, it is very likely that the Chinese would not continue their relationship if they see no benefit. Here are five pointers that clearly show that they're not with Russia anymore. Chinese banks restrict financing for Russian commodities. The Bank of China and the commercial banks are no longer financing companies for the purchase of Russian exports. 
Chinese power plants and steel manufacturers are looking for other suppliers to import their coal from. Does this mean that China is showing that they are against Russia? Or is it just a stunt to show the world that they are against it? Comment what you think below. Before China was with the Russian Tsar, but recently Wang Yi, the Chinese foreign minister, has called for de-escalation, where he said, China supports and encourages all diplomatic efforts and expressed that they are conducive in a peaceful settlement of the Ukraine crisis. They also added that China supports the EU and Russia to conduct equal dialogues on European security issues. They called for negotiation between Ukraine and Russia. The Chinese president also has called and asked Putin to negotiate with Ukraine, but Putin seems to not care about it. China is now refusing to use the veto power for Russia. Reports claim that the vote for this resolution was delayed for two hours as the United States was busy trying to negotiate with China and even though that didn't work as planned, America did manage to make China abstain. Now China is openly making news saying, no country should unscrupulously damage other countries, sovereignty and security in pursuit of its military advantage and security. This pretty much tells us that China is against the invasion, but we never know what plans might be going on in their minds. And this means that Russia is suffering and China will not support Moscow in this self-inflicted economic crisis. They will not help Moscow through the Western sanctions. But this can change any time and if the Chinese president is keeping a poker face too, then it could be tough times ahead. Now if you see what's happening here, things might make more sense with major Western businesses closed in Russia. China has an open market right there. If China helps Russia, now them the Westerners will know that these sanction policies are not as effective as they should be. And the Chinese would know how far could America go so that they can estimate and predict America's responses if they are to attack Taiwan. Well, we all know that Russia is China's most strategic partner and cutting ties with them or not, being in their good books could mean a great loss for the Asian country. Nonetheless, if China helps Russia, then they will be the most hated country, but the strongest one too. Let's just hope that the world remains healthy and prosperous. I'm sure that China is suffering from the war too, with the global market getting heavily affected. This invasion could even lead to a world war and a nuclear bomb would be dropped for sure. So China might be playing safe here too, just like NATO, as they both know how worse could it get if they are to intervene. Well, what do you think? Does Putin have a master plan? Do you think Xi Jinping will help Russia in the future? Comment down below. This will be the end guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and hit the notifications to not miss any new updates from us. And if you like the video, then let us know by liking it and we'll see you in the next one.